Bisphenol A, or BPA, is a chemical in plastics that can leach into food or drinks, especially when the plastics are old or heated, or can enter our body through our skin. Studies have shown that almost all of us have some level of BPA in our bodies at any given time. In our study, we exposed mice to BPA during pregnancy to assess if maternal transfer of BPA from mother to fetus affects developing brains. We specifically examined BPA effects on the hypothalamus, the brain region that regulates hormones, parental and social behaviors, and controls our daily rhythms of activity and sleep. As we designed our study, it was very important that we use a BPA dose in the pregnant mice that matched that of a typical human exposure, so our findings would perhaps be relevant to pregnant women. In the end, our dose is nearly 25 times lower than what's deemed safe by the Food and Drug Administration in the United States, and 11 times lower than Health Canada's. And yet, we still observe effects on the developing brain and a lasting effects on behavior later in life. A major finding of our work is that prenatal BPA exposure in mice causes hypothalamic neurons to be born earlier than normal. It's a complex process, but put simply, developing neurons receive regulatory signals from cells around them. Neurons born at the wrong time can receive improper signals and developmental errors can occur. This can have lasting effects on behavior. In our BPA exposed mice, we found that adult offspring exhibited hyperactivity and altered social interactions. For the first time, we linked BPA to disrupted development of the hypothalamic region that regulates our circadian rhythms, the suprachiasmatic nucleus. Hyperactivity and sleep disorders are increasingly common. It is important we study how BPA affects the developing brain so pregnant women can make informed decisions. There are simple changes we can make in our everyday lives to help us avoid bisphenols. For example, we can avoid putting plastics in the microwave or the dishwasher because the heat can cause additional leaching of bisphenols into the food. We can also purchase stainless steel products and glass whenever possible. These are of course just suggestions. All of us, especially pregnant women, should try to stay stress-free and go on living our lives best we can, doing what we can to limit bisphenols coming into our homes.